Yo, dude, I'm having a barbecue this weekend um, and working on this pretty rad beer infused dish, but I don't really know what beer I should use for it. This uh, this Tower West Coast IPA I'm pouring right now would probably work really nicely. Um, and I think we're canning it up this weekend if you want to oh, sit sweet. down and try it out. Yeah, let's talk give about it a, a shot, bit. man. Let's do it. Sweet. <laughs> All right, so here we have our Taber West Coast IPA um, with two different yeast strains. We've split the wort batch pre-fermentation in half, and we fermented one half with WLP-001 California ale yeast, and the other half with WLP-008 East Coast ale yeast. Um, and you can already see in the appearance, there's a pretty big difference. Um, due to yeah, the same- they look like different beers. Right? I'd say due to the same uh, you know, grain bill and everything, this uh, haziness is gonna be mostly from yeast flocculation being a little bit lower with the East Coast than with the 001. Um, and then you can, you can even perceive that into the flavor as well, right? Yeah, what's crazy though is like the aromas, extremely different mm -hmm. considering it's the same, same hop bill, right? Yeah, yeah, like the way I'm perceiving these hops is much more of that bitter fruit, uh, that bitter citrus like grapefruit, and then this one almost like a sweeter fruit, sweeter citrus, tangerine, orange, kind of softer bitterness. Yeah, so for the, when I have people over for barbecues, I always like providing beer and infusing beer, right? Into everything that we serve. Uh, but I've been working on this beer infused brat that I actually pick up at a local butcher shop and then doing these beer braised onions uh, infused with a little rosemary. And it's, mm. it's killer, but I think, uh, you know, either of these beers would be good, but I'm leaning towards the cow ale because kind of that dry, uh, grapefruit, uh, almost resin note, I think would be really cool to, to lend some sharpness to the, the onions. I, I agree, yeah. yeah the, the attenuation is a little bit higher on the California, drying it out a little bit. I think it's almost a half percent higher in ABV. And, um, and I think you get some more malt character because of the, you know, the, the lower ester character of the 001. It's very clean. And some of that malt may pair nicely up with that brat and those onions as well. Yeah. I mean, if you're good for a bit, I'll go whip up those dishes. We can have some beers next to it and have some lunch. Yeah, of course. That'd be awesome. Sweet. So yeah, these brats are from a local butcher shop where they actually uh, infuse it with a two GABF gold winner uh, porter, which is awesome. Cause there's a couple ways that I was thinking about doing it. And initially I was thinking about um, kind of boiling the brat mm -hmm. in a reduced beer broth, but this one already had it infused into the sausage. So I didn't have to do much with it. Uh, but where I did actually infuse the IPA, I used the, the Cal Ale uh, 001 Taber, it turned out awesome. Uh, I took it and kind of reduced it down um, as I was cooking the onions, added a couple sprigs of rosemary, which really played off that dry um, pininess of the beer. Yeah, yeah that so, sounds delicious. Yeah, I've got some fermented jalapenos too. I thought it was cool to add another element of fermentation. Um, let's just give it a shot. I thought we should try it with both beers though, even though it's used with the, the 001. Yeah, yeah, because who knows, maybe it pairs up better with the other one. Yeah, the first thing I get is a lot of smoke. So I smoke these for about 45 minutes, um, primarily hickory with a little bit of applewood. One of the biggest questions I get when it comes to beer and food pairing is how to do it. Um, sounds silly, but I think when you put it in front of people as a pairing, they, they want to experience it correctly. I don't believe there's a, a correct or incorrect way of doing it. Uh, Especially, yeah, I, I mean, this is, this is barbecue food, man. It's it's easy. Right. You can't screw that up. But oftentimes, I at least like smelling the beer first, smelling the food, taking the sip of the beer and kind of shocking your palate and waking it up, um, then a bite of the food. But at the end of the day, you know, you're probably going to be drinking this right out of the can or a plastic cup in somebody's backyard. I mean, we're eating on paper plates, so you can't take it too seriously. <laughs> yeah. I think it turned out great, though. I agree. Yeah. With that first sip of the California, it, the fat from the brat really, and the bitterness really just kind of melded in between each other and didn't, none was too extreme or, or uh, masked by the other. 
And the jalapenos aren't even that that spicy to begin with from the fermentation on them. So I didn't get this insane bitterness and spiciness from it either. Yeah, but you know, generally like a really dry, bitter beer is going to amp it up. So if you don't like heat, you know, it's, yeah, it's probably not the best pairing. Right. I would say leave the jalapenos off. I think it's pretty solid. Try it with the other one. Yeah, I think with the East Coast, it's just much uh, more of a rounded experience. Like, it's it has more heft to it, right? Like, yeah. some of the flavors aren't as sharp. Um, kind of holds up in a different way. And yeah, I don't, I don't necessarily like the sweet, the, the sweeter aspect of the beer with the bra as much. And I think the fruit, the fruity, almost like juice, like perception of the beer, kind of gets confusing with the bra, but. Um, the softer bitterness and everything like that is nice. Oftentimes, too, people aren't going to really think about something smoked or something smoky with an, an IPA, right? Right. People go malty or dark as a default. But I think it plays off really good, and I think it almost invokes, again, that, that barbecue uh, mindset, right? Yeah. I mean, everyone's got IPAs around. Right I think this by itself is so good. I just want to eat it.